Hey everyone, as you know, I'm in the process of rethinking my personal knowledge management processes. And as I was looking at all the steps in the process, I realized that I have a gap right at the beginning. My quick capture workflow is really not as good as it should be. My workflow today is simply to open the Obsidian app on my phone and type in whatever I have in mind. But unfortunately, Obsidian is not very handy for this process. It opens up slowly and it's a bit clunky to type in a quick note. Also, when I'm driving or I just want to talk to my phone, I cannot really use Obsidian for that purpose. So I approached the Twitter community with this question, asking people what their quick capture workflows and applications were. And I was amazed by all the responses I received. This is a very colorful and also very scattered list. Each of the lines here that you can see is a reference to a different application that people are using for their quick capture. And there are also some best practice notes in terms of doing the scan of the inbox on a daily basis or on a weekly basis, or not even to use quick capture because if a thought is important, you will remember it anyway. Looking through the list, the clear winner was the drafts app. By the way, each of these up arrows are a separate mention of the same application. I didn't count the likes, I only counted tweets that had the reference to an application and I added an up arrow for each of them. So Drafts app is the clear winner. My personal situation is that I have an Android phone and an iPad, so I need a solution that works on both platforms. Looking through the list, there were some other candidates as well. One that was mentioned by many people and also has an Obsidian plugin is the Todoist app. But for me, somehow recording ideas, thoughts, inspirations as to do items, I don't know, I'm, I'm not comfortable with the idea. And therefore I decided against using Todoist. Also the features to capture an image or capture a voice memo I'm not sure Todoist has these features. Maybe it does. Frankly, I didn't look into the details of the Todoist app. In the end, from all of these apps, there were two items or two options I shortlisted. One of the shortlisted solutions is simply to use an email inbox. And this was promoted by Eleanor Konick, but also this solution resonates very much with me. I think an email inbox is a universal, easy solution. You can send to the inbox from whatever app you want. And it's just, it's just there. It works. It's a long and tried tested technology. I think an email inbox is actually a great quick capture tool. I even created an empty mailbox for myself and set up a separate mail application where I can quickly capture items because I was thinking that email is going to be the solution for me. But then as I looked further, Google Keep caught my attention. And in the end, I decided to use Google Keep as my quick capture workflow. And I want to show you some of the features of how I'm using Google Keep maybe you can benefit from this as well. So first of all, using Google Keep on my Android phone, when you install Google Keep, you will get a couple of widgets with Google Keep. I installed both of the widgets on my phone so I can demonstrate to you how it looks like. In reality, I only use the one at the bottom. The one at the top, I think, is a bit too verbose, but maybe you like to see all your notes in your inbox. And in that case, the bigger widget is the better one. And you have a couple of buttons on the widget. You have a plus sign to create a quick text note. You have the checkbox to create a quick to-do list. You have the microphone to take a voice memo, which is automatically transcribed by Google. You have the paintbrush 
to write something, you can use your S Pen if you have a Samsung Note or you can use your finger or you can use your stylus if you have a stylus for your phone. And finally, uh, you can also take a picture and one cool feature is Google Keep can capture the text from the picture. I show you that in a moment. And you can also see the Google Assistant widget on this screen. And the reason I have it here is because I want to demonstrate how I can use Google Keep with Google Assistant. You need to do some setup first. You need to go to Google Assistant settings and you need to change your notes app like this. So if you set up Google Assistant like this, then you can use Google Assistant while driving or using your Google Home devices. You can just simply tell Google a quick note and it will write it down. So for example, if you have Google Home in your bathroom, you can step out of the shower or shout out of the shower to take a quick note and that note is captured. So let me first show you the Google Assistant option. Note to self. All right, what do you want it to say? This is a test note to demonstrate how I can use Google Assistant to take notes. Saved your note. And that's it. My note has been saved and you can see it appear right at the top of the notes list. The note that I just dictated appeared in my Google Keep inbox. But you can also use the dictation feature in Google Keep. The benefit of using the dictation feature is that it will not only be transcribed, but also the voice, the recorded voice will be stored as well. So here I'm going to say this is a test note to demonstrate how I can use Google Keep to take notes. And that's it. You can see that the text has been transcribed and also I have the voice recording here so I can listen to my voice or whatever sound I recorded in Google Keep. Going on, I want to show you another option. So if I press the plus sign, then I can simply use the keyboard to type in a message. This is maybe good in a noisy situation. It's a bit of a slow process, but also what you can do is you can use the voice typing on your keyboard, which I will demonstrate in a moment. And then it's a fast process. Now looking at the photo option, if you press the image icon, you can take a photo like this. This is a tree in our garden. I'm going to give this a title. This is a tree in our garden. And I'm going to add a quick note using voice typing. I can also voice type using the keyboard. And then finally, you can also take a handwritten note. So in this case, I'm just going to simply write with my fingers on the screen and in a moment, when I show you how to process the inbox, I'll show you that actually Google is able to recognize my handwriting, even this handwriting pretty well. So that is the Android solution. Now looking at the iPad, mind you, I'm much, much less familiar with iPad. I tried to set up Siri to use Google Keep as the default notes app. I wasn't successful, but I'm also not surprised. Apple is usually not very open in allowing other applications. So I was only able to use Siri to take notes in Apple Notes, which was a disappointment. But on the iPad, I otherwise never use Siri. So it's not a real bummer, but I thought if I could do it, I could show you how it works. So the basic use case on the iPad is you install Google Keep, you tap on the icon for the app and then first I'm going to take a picture of a page in a book to show you how you can grab text very quickly. This is to demonstrate the text recognition in Google Keep. If I tap the microphone, I can add a voice memo just like on my phone. You can take voice notes in Google Keep on iOS as well. 
and this will be transcribed as well as the voice recording will be saved. If I tap on the pencil, I can use my Apple Pencil to do a quick sketch or just take some handwritten notes. And again, my handwriting is really awful and you'll see how well Google Keep recognizes this handwriting as well. So that's about the features on the iOS app. And then finally, let me show you how I process these notes into Obsidian. My process is simply to open Google Keep. And in Google Keep, I see all of the notes that I have recorded. And if I click on a note, for example, I click on this note, I can either copy the image and paste the image into Obsidian, or here I can click the dot 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 and choose grab image text. And you can see this is a handwritten note captured by Google. And now I can copy paste this into Obsidian. And as I do that, I can then uh, delete my note from Google Keep um, like this. And with that, this note has been processed. My workflow is going to be, I don't keep items here. Anything I want to keep, I'm going to copy into Obsidian and I delete things permanently for here, from here. So for example, if I want to take this picture into Obsidian, I copy the picture, I head over to Obsidian, and now for the sake of simplicity, I'm just going to paste the image in here. And with that, you can see I have my image captured in Obsidian. It took only a second to do this process. Let me just show you how I can grab text from this book. And it's very simple. I can click here as well, grab image text. And after that, you can see here's the text from that page in the book. And I can just copy paste this and process this in Obsidian. And as with all the notes, I can delete the note after I've processed the note so it doesn't clutter my screen. Let me just show you the text recognition on this note as well grab image text and so you can see here a quick sketch in this case is not exactly a quick sketch so my handwriting was really awful i think still google did a pretty good job and if i would write nicer the recognition would be better also quite interesting that the text i wrote with my finger was better recognized than the text i wrote with apple pencil uh, so Maybe I was more careful with the finger writing. So that's it. That is the way I decided to use Google Keep. I have installed it on my phone, on my iPad. I configured Google Assistant so it uses Google Keep as the note to self app. And now wherever I'm using Google Assistant, I can just simply ask Google Assistant to take a note to self. And with that, I can record an item that appears in this inbox. And every week I can open this inbox and process the items here and place them to their relevant location in Obsidian so nothing gets lost. I'm pretty happy with this workflow and I think this is going to be an important new addition to my encounter process in the entire personal knowledge management process. I hope you found this helpful. If you don't have a good quick capture solution, I encourage you to give Google Keep a try. I tested it. I'm extremely happy with it. And best of all, it's a free service. It works on all my devices and it has quite a number of good features. Thank you.